And so then now we understand how auctions work, let's chat about crowd loans, which is, I think, one of the most exciting things that we can definitely offer in this presentation. So what are crowd loans? So crowd loans is a fundraising system for parachain teams to get the dot needed to win parachain auctions. Um, basically, dot holders can loan parachain teams tokens, which will be used to bid in these parachain auctions. Um, to encourage users to loan tokens to them, parachain teams can incent create incentives. Basically, you know, an, a common example of this might be distributing their own token to the crowd loan participants. Of course, this is only a loan, right? So just like the auction process, all crowd loan participants, all dot holders, will get back their original contributions at the end of the slot. We guarantee this with the logic on chain. Thus, um, participating in a crowd loan is, again, just a cost of opportunity. and something you definitely want to do. Um, so what does this mean? This means that crowd loans on Polkadot means that you don't have to have big pockets to become a parachain, just big ideas. Um, if you provide the great ideas, a solid engineering team, a little bit of hard work, uh, Polkadot will provide you everything you need to get to production. I mean, we've already talked about the shared security it provides to the different teams, but now it's clear the protocol even supports collecting the funds needed to win these slots via crowd loans. And then as a dot holder, a crowd loans are an amazing way for you to shape the future of the network. You can back the parachain teams which you think will provide the greatest value. You can even get some of the parachain tokens or other rewards along the way. And remember, all of your crowd loan contributions are returned to you at the end of the slot. So there really is no reason not to participate. And finally, as a parachain team, you know, crowd loans is a great way to decentralize your token supply on day one. Like we know it can be very hard to build a new and diverse community when starting a blockchain network. Um, when you join the Polkadot family, you jump right into the middle of one of the biggest blockchain communities there is. And then crowd loans gives you a stage to convince people in the Polkadot community to support you. And by distributing your token, you can actually get them personally invested in your success as a parachain. So it really is a win for everyone. So now that we've covered all the basics of slots, auctions, crowd loans, let's see what you should expect when we actually uh, go through this process. Ex you know, um, besides a little bit of chaos, of course. So here's a general auction timetable and give you an idea of kind of where we are and what you should expect in the near future. So at the high level, um, you saw last Thursday, we onboarded and got the shell parachain running on West End. On Friday, we actually upgraded Kusama to support all of the parachain registration, auction, crowd loan process. So that's already there on Kusama. Um, then this Monday, we actually onboarded the shell parachain to Kusama as well. The next steps will be coming soon. Um, which involves upgrading the shell parachain to state mine, which is, the, which is basically the assets parachain for Kusama. It's like statement, but it's for Kusama. And then when that is running well and stable, we will announce the official auction schedule. And of course, give you all seven days notice so that you can unbod your KSM if they're currently being staked. Um, the auctions on Kusama will be seven days long with a two day opening period and a five day ending period. This should give everyone plenty of time to both set up their uh, bids and their crowd loans and for participants to join the crowd loan process and the auctions on Kusama. The auction schedule tentatively, we're looking to start with around uh, five auctions, um, each done one at a time and each one week apart. Now, since the auction length itself is one week, these auctions will basically back to back to back. Um, each auction will target the current lease period. So as soon as a winner is picked in an auction, you will start seeing that parachain immediately start to onboard, and you basically should have that parachain building blocks that day, which is like, I mean, kind of crazy to think about how close we are going to be to parachain teams really um, launching on Kusama. Um, for participating in crowd loans, uh, we have the Polkadot.js apps, which will provide you basically um, all the tools and things you need to participate in a crowd loan. And hopefully you all are very familiar with the Polkadot.js apps already. Um, so if you go to the network tab, then parachains, then crowd loan, you should be able to see all the active crowd loan for, for potential parachains. Um, here you can observe the different options and configurations for each of the crowd loans. Um, this isn't all the material. Probably you'll get additional material from the actual parachain teams, talking about the incentives, participation, and types of change to their reward curves or anything like that. Um, but that combined with the information on the crowd loan dashboard should provide you all the information you need to make an informed decision. So let's take a quick look at the screen. Um, you can see here that there are four crowd loans. Um, Bob's is already completed because um, Bob has already reached the limit of the amount of funds that he was looking to raise for his crowd loan. So there aren't any more contributors allowed in that. Um, but you can see that Charlie, Dave, and Alice still have crowd loans going on. And each of them have different lease periods which they're bidding for. And of course, also a different ending time for the crowd loan. 
So this ending time is very important to note because when you contribute to a crowd loan, you're kind of saying, um, my funds will be locked in this crowd loan process until either um, the uh, crowd loan wins, and then of course your funds will be locked until the parachain offboards, or until the crowd loan is ended, and then you can contribute a, into a different spot. So you need to take into account um, the different ending times for these crowd loans before you participate. And then of course you can see how much they're looking to raise and how much they've already raised. And this could inform you on decisions like, you know, if they're trying to distribute their tokens, how much of, a, um, of the tokens you might get based off a contribution you, make, you would make. Um, and then of course, once you've got all the information, you made an informed decision, you can just press that very easy contribute button on the right hand side and then say how many dots or KSM you want to contribute and press OK and that's it. It is really that easy to uh, contribute to a crowd loan. Keep going. Yeah, and so um, after the crowd, um, crowd loan contributions are made and the bids are made, we actually need to go pick a winner. And depending on what stage in the auction process, the current winner will show up differently. So if you're trying to look and follow the, um, the auction process, it's important to know what the different kind of winner um, snapshots may look like. So um, during the opening period, the winner view will be very simple. Basically, whoever has the highest bid for a particular least period section um, will be listed. If someone bids higher um, or a crowd loan gets more funds, um, you'll see that an old name disappear and a new name pop up. This is very, very simple. Um, but then we'll move into the ending period. And remember, the ending period has these different snapshots for all the different changes of bids. So you'll actually see multiple groups of winners with the block number associated with that snapshot. So as we'll make new bids, new snapshots will appear, and you'll kind of get this, this list of all the different possible states for winners. Um, any of these snapshots could be the potential winner for the whole auction. We won't know until the ending period is over. Finally, once the auction has completed um, and the randomness seed is generated to pick the winner, we actually pick the snapshot. Um, the winners decided we run the algorithm and decide who are the best um, candidates for that snapshot. And then you will actually assign the least periods. And so you can see on this screen, we have um, Bob and Charlie who won that auction and their least periods are assigned to them. And even the parachain itself may start to onboard if the least period is current. So now that we've covered all the basics of crowd loans and auctions, let's go over some of the do's and do nots. Um, first, you definitely do want to listen for announcements to unbond and stake um, your staking KSM or DOT when it comes time to start participating in these auctions. And you absolutely want to investigate and research the parachain teams before contributing to any of them. Um, remember that this is a completely open and permissionless process. So you could expect there probably will be teams with malicious intent out there trying to you know, lock up your KSM in some you know, not worthwhile auction. So you, you know, in order to get to where we got today, we've worked with a lot of um, different test networks like Rococo, and we've had plenty of opportunity for the teams to show the world that they have everything running and working smoothly. So definitely you want to make an informed decision and do research on these teams to figure out how have they been doing with the, um, the Rococo test net and setting up their code and the incentives they're trying to provide, right? You definitely don't want to transfer tokens to another person to participate in the, part, in the current process. You basically, um, it should be done by you directly um, on chain. Um, and also, you definitely don't want to lock up all of your funds in the first crowd loan. Remember that you know, many teams will be doing crowd loans, and those crowd loans may start at different times. If you lock up all your funds in the first crowd loan, you won't have funds to contribute to the other one. So definitely think ahead of time about the parachain teams, about the allocations you want to make, and make sure that you're distributing your funds in a way that makes sense and allows you access to all the different opportunities that Polkadot can provide to you.